This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni and pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. time to get geeky get awesome it is the awesome cast and this is a special new year's edition uh, something a little bit different hey we usually don't record but here i am on J- december 26 actually recording this very special because i actually uh for my new year's resolution and i'm uh, looking to show some from our friends on the awesome cast as well some resolutions that maybe could be helpful to you for doing a version of in this new year uh of course you're looking at me i have just rearranged the entire podcast area studio uh if you've ever seen a picture of it i'm afraid to show you old ones but this is what it looks like now and it's a little cleaner and look at the hey the, the camera's there where it's supposed to be too so uh a, a new layout got a new place for my laptop over here got some new monitors monitor action over here uh and just kind of generally streamlining and refreshing things uh we've been adding on and adding on for so many years uh probably about seven years we've been here at sorgatron media and and adding new technology a new board a new switcher and then just kind of i I found uh plugs to a canon uh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to a Canon um, uh, switcher or uh, cameras that we used initially when we were here, some old, old Canon cameras. And they had been plugged in this entire time. I don't think they were live plugged in maybe the entire time, um, but they were definitely like those power supplies that are definitely drawing energy. And they may have been doing it for about five years that we have not been using those cameras. <laughs> so things like that. Sometimes you need to clean up. And this is where I, I go to anybody that has any kind of tech set up and kind of desk set up, uh, anything like that, anybody out there that's doing, doing Twitch streaming or anything like that. It is so beneficial. This is actually something I got. I've been listening to Office Hours Global uh, with Alex Lindsay and the, a bunch of great uh, video production people. And, and just that idea that is like three or six months, I think uh, 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 they're talking about on there. You just you just tear apart your entire setup. You take pictures, you label things. And that's the other thing. I labeled things. There's a lot of colored tape now on some of these cords. And I'm trying to streamline it so some people can use this. So so our friends at Again is MB can uh, have hopefully an easier time when they come in here. And I've done something wild for a setup. They can figure it out. Um but for me, it's it's you know just a nice refresh. You know, if you if you pile on gear, if you have something like that, maybe it is just your office space at home. Um, how much stuff is kind of piled up, right? So it's always good to do just I'm going to clear the entire thing, put it on a table, put it in a box, and see what needs to come back. I got a nice little pile of cables that are not in this setup. I thought of I thought of an entire new way to distribute the setup, so it's not the cords aren't on the floor and the Roomba isn't getting stuck and we can actually clean this corner um, more than once every seven years, <laughs> for instance. But that was really bad. Uh, so that's my kind of thing. Just just you know, look around. What kind of setup do you have that could use a bit of a refresh? Your workspace, your play space, perhaps. Sometimes with consoles, you're putting a lot of them in there uh, and, uh, and, and, and they just kind of pile up and you have old cords. Maybe it lasts an old power supply that's still plugged in for all you know. So that's what I got. Uh, that is my awesome New Year's resolution resolution uh, of a year for you guys to try out. Let's see what everybody else has in store. Hey everyone, this is the tech thing I'm going into 2024 with. AI is everywhere, which is incredible and very helpful, but it's also going to be very dangerous. We're seeing an increase in phone calls from friends or family members who need money for bail or for to tow their vehicles. Uh, AI voices that sound like the, the person that we care about and we want to give them, you know, whatever they need, credit card number, bank statement, you know, whatever kind of information they need. So for me, something I want to implement as safety wise is I would like my fa- friends and family to have a code word. And essentially it would be something that only we would know. I grew up in the, the era of stranger danger and I had a code word as a child where if someone showed up and was like, hey, your mom said I could pick you up, I would ask for the code word. And this was a thing that was a big deal. And I think this actually is is an excellent practice coming back around, um, especially with parents who may be, you know, like I said, worried about their family, you know, their children and getting these phone calls and wanting to give any sort of information to protect them and 
taking that second to be like, hey, what's the code word or what's what's our word? And it, it's not going to know that answer. So hopefully this will help people keep safe in 2024. Hello, awesome people. My resolution, besides having awesome puppies in 2024, is we have a new software as a service at work. And instead of me trying to think of, well, what did the old system do? And how can the new system replicate what the old system did? To think about as a fresh mind, um, as a novice mind, and I'm trying to use exactly the term Jim from Fishing Without Bait used. Um, so I'm coming fresh and not being stuck in the past with this new service and this new software, thinking what it can do for me, not just what it can recreate, what ex existed in the past. Have a happy new year, everyone. Hope everything's going good. Hey, Yins, happy holidays. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. And here is to 2024. May it be happy and healthy and an amazing 2024. I hope all of your aspirations come true. But let's talk 2024 awesome resolutions. I feel like I have 20 of them this year because, of course, you want to always eat healthier, exercise more, um, meditate, journal. I want to build more Legos. I want to journal more. I want to write. I want to do better at my job. I want to do all these things. So I feel like I have 20 resolutions this year because I feel like I'm finally in a place to where I can like excel instead of just keeping my head above water. Um, but I want this one to be solid and I want to actually finish this by the end of the year. So um, I'm going to work really hard at it and try to do it at least once a day for an hour and see how I can excel at it. Um, and it's been something I've been working on since I moved to California and I got my new job. I wanted to realize, I, I wanted to make myself more marketable and become uh, better in the tech field. So there's multiple ways you can do that. Obviously, you can get into like hardware, but I and you know app development and all this other stuff. But I felt like <clears throat> I was really onto something with software and where I work. So I feel like it's the year that I finally get a coding language under my belt. So I've talked about this before and I've I've bought books. The O'Reilly series is my favorite. Um, anybody who went to college with us knows the O'Reilly series. Um, we have, uh, it, it's great for learning languages and HTML. I learned Dreamweaver on it, like, whoo, throwback. Um, anyways, but, and they're all great for l some light reading. That's a joke. Um, but I've talked about this website before. And I love it so much. This is called Team. It's called Treehouse. And it is t teamtreehouse.com. And it is basically courses. Um, it's free for seven days. It's $25 a month. But you get expert learn uh, led courses demand top high demand topics like AI coding that type of stuff um, you can also do a like certificate through here um, it costs a few thousand dollars not really what I'm looking for because my job doesn't care how it got on your resume they just care that it's there and you can actually do it so um, there are some you can also do this as a business thing. So if you own a business, you can put your whole team through it. But there is uh, tech degrees, more like a coding bo bo boot camp, excuse me, 
Uh, and then there's different, like, your plans for pricing and stuff like that. But what I do, I pay the $25 a month, and then I get access to all these courses. And some of them are, like, web design, beginning data science, beginning JavaScript, beginning Java, uh, beginning PHP, full stack, uh, Java web, uh, intermediate Python. There's beginner Python, which is what I'm taking right now. Then there's an intermediate one after that. It goes on and on. Learn Ruby, learn project management, security, skills for a modern entrepreneur. If you even want to just start a small business and you're like, how the heck do I make it a profit and loss statement? There's a class. Um, STEM learning for kids. Um, advanced Android. Skills for modern marketing. Anyways, this is actually really cool because also if you are a parent and your child is in high school and they are showing interest in coding and the schools are not teaching it yet. $25 a month. Um, and they can start coding. So, and what I really like about Treehouse is it does the video and then you have a worksheet. So the teacher will be explaining it here and you're doing active coding here. And then you can see how it reacts. So if you mistype something, you can then rewind the video and see what you mistyped and see what the reaction is. Um, I really like it. And then there's like quizzes at the end and it's broken up in between like popular code. And I keep a notebook and I kind of make notes and go along with it. Now, uh, that's my awesome resolution as well as the 20,000 other things I'm going to be doing this year, as well as like some new content is coming and some new work projects. I've got so much going on this year. It's going to be wild. It's going to be such a fun year. I can't wait to everybody in our little awesome cast family. I hope you have a wonderful and happy and healthy 2024. And I'll be watching and waiting for you guys to come back out to Cali and visit. Yay. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. And of course, all of you guys have an awesome new year. I hope you have a safe new year. I hope to uh, see you guys in the new year with the show. Share it. Thank you, everybody that does support us on the Patreon. And we'll see you guys next time. You have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome new year. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.